Hello everybody, welcome back to another vlog. It's Maggie if you're new to my YouTube channel. And today's Sunday, so I thought it'd be fun to do just like a little Sunday vlog. Kind of how I am gonna prepare for the week. I love to do like a deep clean on Sunday, so I am about to do all of that. And I just decided that I was like, wait, I need to vlog this because I feel like I used to vlog stuff like this all the time. And I haven't in a while, so here we are. But welcome back to another vlog. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Also follow me on Instagram. I always have it linked down below so you guys can check it out. I wanted to talk to you guys about a few things. I can't believe that it's almost July. Like it's so crazy to me how fast the summer has gone by already. I just feel like May and June, I don't even know like where the months went. It just went by so quick and now it's almost July and I'm just like, I've been using the new, not this one, Road Skin Lip Peptide Lip Treatment by Road and I love it. I personally really like the unscented one. It's my favorite. It literally just makes your lips so hydrated and healthy and I love it. Also, I did try out the moisturizer, which I talked about in my last vlog actually. I was like, I wanna try this out for a few days before I kind of give like an honest review, but this lip treatment is literally the best thing I've ever put on my lips other than the vanilla Laneige lip mask, but I just love how it's in a tube and like you can just put it on all day long. That's like literally what I do. But I wish that the packaging, I just wish that it was a little bit bigger because I feel like I'm gonna like run out. They need to come up with like a big one because I use it so much. And also I'm sad that it's already out of stock and I'm like hoping that all the ones that I bought don't run out before I can get new ones. And I used the moisturizer. I didn't get to get the serum, but I got the moisturizer and I texted my esthetician about Rode when it first came out and I like sent her the list of ingredients and I was like, is this gonna mess up my skin if I try to use it? And she sent me a whole list back of ingredients that are gonna like clog your pores and cause acne. And one of the ingredients was shea butter and that's what's in the moisturizer if you have sensitive skin and like I have such sensitive skin that I use a moisturizer for two days and I got breakouts here and two over here three so I was like the only thing I changed was that and my skin was like so clear until I use the moisturizer which I'm really sad about because it was really hydrating I might try to give it another try because maybe my breakouts aren't from the product and it's from something else but anyway that's just something that I noticed and I wanted to give you guys a little update on. But I'm going to head out in a little bit and go to Whole Foods and do grocery shopping because I just want to get that done before I start cleaning. Because like once I'm home, I'm going to clean everything. I have laundry going right now, so I'm going to leave and that'll be done by the time I get back. And I want to be able to like put everything away, get everything I need for the week and kind of go before it gets super late, honestly, because it's already 2 o'clock. So I'm gonna go do that. I just got back from the grocery store and I'm gonna do a grocery haul. This is an overview of everything I got, which is so insane because it doesn't look like that much and it was like over $250. I just can't believe how expensive groceries are. And I feel like the only time groceries has ever been this much is like when Emma and I lived together and I was buying groceries for two people and like different meals and stuff, but I literally only bought stuff to make dinner tonight and then just like little things for breakfast and lunch. But anyway, I'll show you guys what I got. And tonight I'm gonna be making bolognese, which I'm gonna vlog, so I got all the ingredients for that. But I got this fresh mozzarella. I wanna do like a mozzarella, arugula, prosciutto salad with some tomatoes and like balsamic olive oil. And then I wanna put pine nuts on it and kind of do just like an Italian salad because I feel like seeing everybody in Italy on Instagram is like making me want to enter my like Italian European era of eating. So I got that stuff and then I got this little cheese and cracker thing that I'm gonna eat right now. And then some pico with these flour tortillas that I'm gonna make little breakfast tacos with. And then I got some sub rolls and Greek pepperoni, 
I'm gonna make like little sandwiches and stuff for lunch. Tomatoes, crackers for cheese and crackers, and then I got some microgreens to add to salads and to add to my sandwiches because they're so good for you. And then I got some bacon, sausage for dinner tonight, an onion, some Brazil nuts, lettuce for the sandwiches, and then arugula for salads, coconut chunks for smoothies, pasta for dinner tonight, some cherries, salt and vinegar chips, and then some lemons, tomatoes, carrots, celery, and this right here is like flaky sea salt. So I'm gonna put this like on top of salads and stuff like that. And then I also got some pink Himalayan salt and this pack of pepper because I got new salt and pepper cracker things. So I'm gonna put that in there. And then I got some deli meat and this Kerrygold cheddar cheese. I got ham and turkey. And then I got this thing of milk for Mac because he loves milk so i get him this and then i got some la colombe coffee and then some tomatoes and tomato puree for tonight's dinner <laughs> so how cute is this little mini santa margarita wine that i got i'm gonna use it to cook tonight so i don't want to get a full bottle but <laughs> it's so cute and little <laughs> I'm gonna start making the bolognese for dinner. I just edited and uploaded a video, so I've just been doing work since I got home from the grocery store. I also really want to make some homemade hummus because I got a new blender and I'm so excited about it. I'm gonna start making like more smoothies and stuff. I don't know what Vitamix this is, but I'll link it down below for you guys. And I'm very, very excited. I need tahini though, so I need to go to the store and get that before I can make my hummus. I forgot to get it today, but it's gorgeous. And I just like get so happy about like cooking utensils and stuff. I also got this new wooden cutting board and they did free engraving. So I got my initials engraved into it. And I'm very excited to use it. This is my first time that I'm gonna be cutting on it. Okay, I am gonna wash three stalks of celery and then also three carrots. And once those are rinsed and dried off a little bit, I'm just gonna peel all three carrots and then also I'm gonna peel the celery as well. I don't know where I heard that from, but I just heard that if you peel your celery, it's like better for cooking. we have all of the cut up onion carrots celery and then I did some garlic and I'm gonna cook the bolognese in this like crusette pan that I have and it's my favorite for making pasta like you can make so many different sauces and literally make anything in it like soups sauces you can make chicken 
so much stuff. I love it so much. It's really worth all the money. So I'm gonna just take some olive oil and coat the bottom of the pan. I added in the onion and garlic before the olive oil was heated and I'm gonna heat it up on like a medium low heat. My stove cooks stuff like super high. I don't know why, so I like to do like medium low. I'm just gonna cook this for like two to three minutes until you can start like really smelling the garlic and onion and then until the onion gets a little bit see-through. Okay, I added the meat. I did a pound of ground beef and then two Italian sausages, mild Italian sausages. And then I just added in the white wine after all of that cooked down. And I'm about to add the tomatoes and the tomato puree. Okay, the water for the pasta is boiling behind me. I'm making a really simple salad right now. This one is my favorite at the moment. I just have some leftover cut up romaine from last week and I put a bunch of olive oil and I'm gonna squeeze juice from a whole lemon and then also add some grated Parmesan and salt and pepper and it's so good. And what I love about this recipe is that it's just so simple and easy. So I just do, I honestly might only need the juice from half of this lemon because they're very juicy. And then I like to just eyeball the parm and kind of add, I like to just at least coat the whole top of the lettuce. I feel like that's enough. Hi guys, it's the next day. I just got back from the grocery store again because I needed to pick up tahini like I said yesterday so I can finally make my hummus and then I ended up getting just a few other things that I needed like more cucumbers, cilantro, and celery for green juice. And then I also got some of these crackers because I'm gonna do like a baked halibut tonight. And I got some sweet potato, Mac got some cookies and I got also some fruit like look at these fresh strawberries they're from this local place and they just look so perfect and so good so I'm gonna cut up all this stuff now and store the celery in the fridge also the cilantro I'm gonna make the hummus but I wanted to show you guys before I get started. I am changing all of my cleaning supplies over to Branch Basics. I've just heard so much on podcasts about how cleaning supplies like really disrupt your hormones and they're like bad for your health, like a majority of the cleaning supplies because there's so many chemicals. So I decided to switch over to Branch Basics and what I like about them, I'll show you guys all the products that it came with because I ordered like the starter pack which has everything. So it came in this big bag right here and this is the concentrate and also they have this oxygen boost which is really good for your laundry. So I'm gonna do the sheets right now and let you guys know how everything turned out and I also need to clean the couch, like desperately need to clean the couch so I'm excited to use this. But we have a bottle for bathroom. This is for the toilet, tile, grout, and the shower. And it's really cool because on the side, there's like a water line and then a soap line. So you fill all this up with water and then that much with soap and then like top it off with a little bit more water and you can refill them, reuse them. I know that, I think you can order like glass containers on their website, which I want to do that, but it's plant and mineral based. So once I try all this stuff out, I'll let you guys know how I like it and how I think that it cleans. But it's cool because you can use the concentrate for literally everything. This is streak free for your glass windows and mirrors. And then this right here is all purpose for surfaces, stains, grease, and dishes. And then they have a little foaming hand wash as well. I just filled up all the bottles and I put a load of laundry in. I'm doing the bed right now so I'll let you guys know, like I said, how that comes out. But I am making the homemade hummus right now. So I have my Vitamix blender 
and I'm gonna do, I think this, it was a large can of chickpeas, which is I think how much I need, and then I'm doing um, a third cup of tahini, some salt, and juice of a lemon, and I also have to just add a little bit of olive oil. So I'm gonna do this as well. Okay, hummus is done and it's so good. I ended up adding two more lemons, three cloves of garlic, and then a little bit of cumin and also some cayenne. And I personally think it's so good. You could definitely add like olives, parsley, and just different like Mediterranean spices if you want. You could also do like pine nuts, but I kind of just wanted to keep it simple since it was my first time making the hummus, but it's so good. I can't wait to eat it with like pita bread and like cut up fresh vegetables and put it on salads and stuff. Good morning, you guys. It's the next day. I'm making some bacon right now in my always pan, and I'm gonna make some bacon, egg, and cheeses for breakfast. So I have eggs, cheddar cheese, and English muffins. Hello, hello. <laughs> Milo knows that I have food right now. I just walked in. I got a loaf of bread, ciabatta, which I'm gonna make a sandwich right now. It's crazy because I went to the store in the beginning of this vlog. I have started editing it this morning and I realized that I said it was gonna be like a Sunday vlog and stuff like that and then I just like continued filming these next few days and I'm gonna end off the vlog today because I'm gonna start a new one and I'm going to the Cape for 4th of July weekend. So I'm gonna do probably like a pre-Cape vlog and then Cape vlog. So. I'm gonna end off this vlog in this video finally, but it's crazy because remember I showed you guys all of the food that I bought from Whole Foods and I spent like a million dollars on groceries and I feel like my groceries have just been like going bad so quick. Like the bread that I bought to make sandwiches was already moldy and I was like, how is this happening? Like it was, I can't even think about it. It was so gross because it was literally moldy and disgusting and I was just like, I don't understand because I just bought it. So I had to go to the store and buy a whole new, so I had to go to the store and buy a whole new baguette and here we are. I'm gonna make a sandwich for lunch and I'm doing laundry right now. I have that going. I'm gonna bring the dogs for a nice long walk, listen to a podcast and uh, that's what's up. Okay, this is what we have, my cut up ciabatta. We have some avocado 
Dijon mustard, mayo, and then I'm gonna do arugula microgreens and some arugula, cheddar cheese, turkey. perfect sandwich and I'm also having some kettle cooked salt and vinegar chips I feel like you have to have some sort of chip when you eat sandwiches right Milo <laughs> before I get changed for the walk I'm gonna just put on like some comfy workout clothes I wanted to show you guys my outfit that I'm wearing today because I just got these pants in the mail and I'm wearing just a white plain Aritzia tank top and then these are the pants from where are they from jaded london they're the cargo pants and they're in like this really pretty brown i got them in a size large and then i'm wearing my new balance 550s they are the collaboration with amy leandor i think that's i don't even know how to say it honestly and then my sunglasses that i have been wearing for literally every day for the past like I don't even know how many months it's been, but they're from the Attico, and I get so many questions about them always, and they're just like these black ones. So that was my outfit today. I'm gonna go change though, like I said, and walk the dogs. I got a ton of stuff in the mail, actually just like clothes, clothes that I ordered, basics, like new basics. I got a cute dress from Heavy Manners, and I'm gonna probably do a little haul in my next vlog because I want to be able to try everything on and show you guys. I also got the new Skinny Confidential face roller, which I'm very excited about, and then some new Necessaire body wash. I love getting these refill containers because I like just like keeping them on the edge of my bathtub. I love how sleek it is, the aluminum, and I just use this as bubble bath. So I got the eucalyptus, and then I also got this one right here, which is the fragrance-free, but I'm obsessed with these. I just got back from the walk. I've been cleaning also like a ton this afternoon and just trying to like break down boxes and get the apartment all clean and organized before I leave for the Cape. So I'm looking not that cute right now, but I'm gonna end up this vlog here so I can edit, finish editing, get this up for you guys. But I love you so much. Thanks for watching this video. Also, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on my cape vlog. I'm very excited about it. And I'm also really excited because I have something really fun coming up, which I am excited to tell you guys about. And I know you guys are gonna be very excited for that vlog. So stay tuned. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.